Okie dokie, it is quickie with Emma time. I'm hoping you can see me. I'm sitting in my car and um, I've got the car light on. I'm in a car park, <laughs> which is kind of funny. And um, yeah, it's a little bit early, so I would normally do it at 7 o'clock, but I've got a, a thing on at 7 at Wollongong Uni and I will be going to that and therefore this is why the quickie is early and hello I can see people coming on so please say hi on the comments if you've just arrived and um, yeah so I I'm doing this very early but that's okay because I'll do it every week I might even do it twice a week I'm not even sure and uh, you get a special prize if you can guess which uh, car park I'm sitting in Someone might knock at my window in a second. All right, so uh, tonight's Quickie with Emma uh, subject is whatever you choose it to be. So you need to put your comments on uh, the screen. I'm pointing at the screen, but you can't see the screen. You need to put your comments on there and your questions. And uh, so far, it's been a bit quiet in Facebook land today. I haven't had any questions come through. I usually have at least a couple. But um, that's okay and it's really dependent on how many questions I get and what I can answer as to what I will talk about because it is the quickie. Something that um, I will start with, however, is um, saying my connection is weak. So if it doesn't work, then we'll have to try again later. Um, something that I've been thinking about this afternoon is about the masks that we wear in life and that we use to protect ourselves so for a lot of mums we will put these masks on of everything is okay but it's not really okay um, or we might put a mask on um, of it's not necessarily is it okay is that we're um, we could even put the mask on that we're doing it tough we want a bit of sympathy in some shape or form because we might be playing the victim cycle. So I wanted you to have a think about what kind of uh, mask you're wearing. Someone wants to get an index to me. I think I'm going to move. I'm not moving. What kind of mask are you wearing? Hey, Jodie. <laughs> um, are you wearing the I'm okay mask? Are you wearing the, you know all is good in my world but you're not really feeling all is good in my world or are you wearing the all is good in my world and it is all good if that makes sense hey Rochelle so yeah just have a think about what kind of masks that you wear on a regular basis and is that your real mask is that really what's going on for you and I'd love to hear your comments on that and it's interesting because intuitively we know things are up with people when they say oh I'm okay or things are fine or you know when you say oh, how are you you know I'm fine that you intuitively know that something's not quite right yet we don't always ask we don't always ask what the issue is and I don't know for whatever reason sometimes it's not the best place to ask or um, we just don't want to go there sometimes admitting that we've all got problems is that we're all the same I don't know, connected, connected universe, we're all the same, we've all got, um, all got problems, people are getting out next to me now, probably staring at me, so guys, I can see quite a few people on the call, so if you've got any questions, I do suggest you put them on there, because I've hardly got any battery, and um, I'm happy to not talk for as long, if there's no actual questions, what have we got? Uh, most of the time I wear the I'm good mask and things are good, but when I hide my emotions a lot more than I should. Yeah, we do. We do, Jodie. We hide our emotions. And I don't know what... Uh, I can't work out why we do that. I think it's just the whole we don't want to seem weak. Um, but you know what? Vulnerability is actually... is It connects us. So, Jodie, go to... Um, I'll post it on there and I did do it on another quickie. Um, look up Brene Brown... Um, her TED talk, Brene, B-R-E-N-E, -E, Brown, her TED talk on shame and vulnerability. It's bloody awesome. Um, and you know what? Vulnerability is not a bad thing. And I think we should all be a little bit more open and honest about our emotions because I think it just connects us. It really does. It connects us with everybody else and we, we all kind of feel a bit more connected with each other. We feel that we're all in the same boat or we feel... I don't know how many times can I say connected tonight. I'm looking at my phone and it's saying, your connection is weak. That's why I'm saying it. 
Um, but yeah, there you go. You do it too. I do it. Um, you know when you're in the shopping line and someone's, hey Steph, when you're in the shopping line and they say, you know, how how are you? <laughs> I try and make a point, hello, I try and make a point of asking a bit more about that person who's serving me. You know, I might even mention that they've got a pretty bracelet on or maybe, you know, what time do you finish tonight and how's that been going for you and do you, do you work anywhere else? I have a bit of a conversation with the uh, the shop assistant because, you know, maybe they want to chat. Maybe they want to talk to someone. Maybe they just want connection. And maybe they don't. It's okay. Like, not everybody wants connection. It's all good. Uh, Steph says, I do the same as Jodie. Yeah, we do. And I think we hardwire that, um, yeah, I'm fine, into our, into our response. And I think you might say it before you've even realised you've said it. So I, for a long while, I think I spoke about in the last quickie, or maybe I didn't, maybe I've, I feel like I'm talking a lot these days to lots of people, um, (laughs) Figgy more, yay Jacob, you're right, I am at Fig Tree, I'll think of a prize for you, how do you know, is it the red behind me, um, what was I saying, Jacob's taking me off, off subject, what was I saying, someone remind me connection talking to people at co- oh the hard wide we're hard wiring to getting shit done at Biggie Mall <laughs> yes I am <laughs> don't come and look for me really don't I'll be gone soon um, yeah we tend to automatically say I'm fine I'm good things are not bad what's that start saying awesome seriously start changing your language start saying some really cool shit start saying yeah I'm freaking amazing because the more you start saying stuff like that you more you actually start believing it Rochelle says I tend to hide behind makeup and I feel less confident person when I'm without it yeah gosh so so common hiding behind makeup my sister and she might not be listening when she was younger she was uh, dressed up as a goth and you know not I'm not saying that being a goth is a bad thing it's it's totally fine but um the makeup with um, certainly in the goth look is pretty full on. And, you know, I'm not saying that she did this, but it just reminds me of people putting on a real big show with their makeup and their, what are they hiding? And I don't know. I think a lot of it is to do with self-expression, but yeah, hiding behind your makeup. <sighs> Go makeup free, Rochelle, seriously. Do it for like two weeks and then you'll get used to yourself looking like you do and you you will you will start to accept yourself a little bit more um because really have you ever noticed that people don't even know (laughs) okay go to ballet it's all good um have you noticed that when you don't wear makeup people don't even notice anyway (laughs) so (laughs) i don't think people really care people are thinking about themselves 99.9 percent of the time anyway uh, I'm going to be more honest with myself. Yes, be honest. And it's about remembering you, remembering who you really are and being being the authentic you. I think it's really important. And I think that we've, you know, in the world of the Kardashians, and don't let me start on the bloody Kardashians crap, that we've forgotten to be our authentic selves and there's something wrong with being us. There's something wrong with being just a normal person normal and having feelings and gosh do you know what the highlight of my day today because I've had a pretty quiet day I had a couple of clients but <laughs> highlight of my day was cleaning my washing machine out you know what I'm normal I do get shit done but hey I've got a clean washing machine today <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you this um yeah just just start saying stuff when people say how are you just be honest you know what I'm feeling pretty shit right now and see what they say <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Um, someone very close to me at the moment is a bit sick at the moment and she's telling herself that she's not sick. And I think that's kind of a good thing. I mean, there's a bit, there's a bit of, you know, are, are you in denial? But generally speaking, you can, I think you can self-talk yourself into feeling a certain way. Um, an example I'll use of that actually, because I can see no questions coming up and you've got about two minutes to go, um, is that for a few years I used to say that, I would lose my voice three times a year. And guess what? I used to lose my voice three times a year without fail. Now, that's, that's a ridiculous thing, right? I run boot camps. I'm with mum. 
I've got to use my voice when I'm talking to people and losing my voice was not helpful but it was something that I told myself and so therefore I believed it and that's what we do we tell ourselves stuff and we believe it it wasn't until um I decided that that wasn't serving me and I changed it I haven't actually lost my voice in about three or four years so I don't know whatever that is whatever you believe I think to be true Hi Emma, I have a question. When you're feeling down, how do you get yourself out of today? It's been hard. I feel awake. I so crap. I so crap. Yeah, I think a lot of it is to do with your state. So listen to the words that you're saying to yourself. You know, I'm tired. I'm tired. I feel crap. I feel stressed. Have a, just to listen to what you're saying and that kind of that internal dialogue. Take notice of what that is. Uh, take notice of what your uh, physical state is like as well. So are you sitting with your head looking down, your shoulders over? Are you sitting down? You know, could, you, could you change that and stand up? Could you sit up straight? Could you go for a walk? Um, and, and look at where your focus is. So there's three things. So look at your language, look at your physiology, so your body, and look at your focus. What are you focusing on? So for feeling a bit crap and a bit down on yourself... Uh, I do suggest, and this works for me every single time, is go and help somebody or pick up the phone and offer your ear or your shoulder to them and help somebody else. That changes your focus. Automatically you feel better about yourself because you've helped someone and you actually don't focus on yourself. So think about those conversations that you've had with um, a friend or a girlfriend or a partner that you've had a deep and meaningful. Did you really think about yourself the time that they were talking about themselves? So change your focus then look at the language as I've said flip it around so if you're walking around saying that I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired I'm tired well guess what I mean I'm tired even just saying that you're going to be tired so walking around saying I'm I've had all the the sleep that my body needs I've had all the sleep that my body requires and I'm fit and healthy and strong is changing your language and then you know stand up walk around put a put a song on that you that you want to you love booging on down to. Boogie, I sound so old, don't I want to say that. Uh, put a song on and have a bloody good dance around your lounge room and change your physiology. You change all three. So, Jenny, you have to change all three, not just one thing. It's not just your language. It will be your focus, your language, and your physiology. You change all three, your state will change. And I can guarantee there will be a shift somewhere. So I think you should give that a go I think everyone should give that a go it is in my book that bit I think it's like chapter six maybe from memory um but or just google google changing your state uh it's quite a common one so if there's any more questions thanks Jodie and, and everyone for commenting I will um certainly answer them but I've been going on to 30 minutes and I've got to get going I've got to go meet someone and I've got to get out of fig tree car park <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'll leave it another minute or so. If I miss your question, I will message you um, a bit later on tonight, of course, because I, I don't want to do that. But I'll, I'll stay in for another 20 seconds. If anyone needs a hand, I always, always, always offer a free 20-minute coffee chat over the phone or in person if you're local. Always, always have that as an option and I can usually help you out in some way in 20 minutes and if you want to hire me, then we, we can talk about that. But I am a coach, I know what I'm doing, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. I'm not even wearing the t-shirt today. But um, thank you. <laughs> oh, you're going to get my book, yay! <laughs> oh, I'm getting the battery warnings, I better go, I better go. I'll um, If I miss any questions, I will post later on. Thank you guys, I'll talk to you next week for next week's Quickie with Emma. For any more information, go to mp.com.au or secrets to getting shit done.com and I will catch you soon on social media. Bye bye.